What's up guys? I got a one of my favorites the gas station I would say shell the bean and beef or I don't know they always correct me I say bean and beef but they're always like you mean the beef and bean I'm like what the fuck like what does it matter that you correct me? <laughs> I'm over here griping about that shit anyways uh, this is the beef and bean burrito um, very plain they always offer me taco sauce so you know um, I mean it looks good it's, it's kind of warm there have been times where I burned myself but it feels like maybe this one's been sitting there for a while I don't know the guy was super happy and excited to sell me one of these because they were all piled up go figure right Mm-hmm. That's some bean and beef right there. I don't know. I don't know if you can see the food quality. I mean I mean the shell is a hard shell, it feels crunchy, you know, so it's it's not soggy. But I'm basing it off this individual little burrito, you know what I mean? Now, I've had this with taco sauce before. It's pretty good. Anyways, here's our go-to. Wow, I'm slowly realizing that all I do is eat gas station food. Yeah, I don't really uh, buy McDonald's or anything. You know, this is like two bucks. I don't know. Mm-hmm. You know, there have been times where I wanted to go to a movie. I'm like, should I smuggle in candy? Or should I smuggle in this bean and beef burrito? Beef and bean burrito. You know, I gotta get it right. I gotta, I guess maybe I gotta correct myself because it's, it's almost like Everybody corrects me that it's beef and bean. It's not bean and beef. Like it doesn't matter who's behind the counter. They're just I'm like I'm like, can I get that bean and beef? And they're like, oh, this beef and bean. I'm like, so I need to change my ways apparently because the rest of the world seems to believe that it's beef and bean, and that's how it is. Like you can't, you know what I mean? I guess maybe. I guess maybe it's because that's the name. Like, you can't have, you can't call the guy Albert Einstein and then change it to Einstein Albert. Maybe I'm calling it Einstein Albert, a bean and beef. But it's supposed to be Albert Einstein. Beef and bean. You know, maybe, maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm saying it like Einstein Albert and all the gas station clerks are like, you mean Albert Einstein? You mean beef and bean? You keep saying bean and beef. What the fuck does that mean? And I'm pretty sure that's how they feel whenever I walk into their store. I'm ranting. I'm letting this shit get cold. What's pretty flaky, dude? You see those flakes fly off? Here's some mukbang. Mmm. 
Tastes very beany. They say beef and bean, but I don't even know where the beef is. It's like it's pureed into the fucking bean. I'd say one of these is pretty filling. No, no it's not. I'm just meant to tide, tide you over, you know what I mean? Keeps you even kill. Is this even a review at this point? To be honest, I don't even like people watching me eat. All right, now I'm done with it. Thinking of the grading scale. What do I give things like A, Bs, and Cs? Should I go to a number rating? Hmm. Maybe not even a rating. Here's my review. The bean and beef is dope. If it's enough where gas station owners got to tell me it's beef and bean, it's a big deal. So, um, you know, I, I don't feel like it's going anywhere. Uh, the be beef and bean is here to stay. Um, you know, I mean, it's just feels like it's universally loved. It's in a lot of gas stations. So, you know, um, Good Eats, uh, Beef and Bean, gas station style is all right. You know, letter wise, give it a C. You know, to go to. Um, it's generic. Number wise. Shoot, I give it a five. I mean, it's got the taste that you expect for a bean and beef. You know, it doesn't bring too much to the table. You can dress it however you want. Um, it's just a plain, plain style of burrito. I don't know. That's how, I'm, okay, you know what? I'm gonna say that. That's what I know. It's plain. Anyways, plain review for a plain burrito. Bean and beef.